welcome everyone in today's class we will continue our discussion on Carnot map so as we have discussed in the previous class for a given switching function in sum of product form our objective is to represent the function with minimum number of product term and then with minimum number of literals and Carnot map is actually helps in doing this in specifically in Carnot map uh, we uh, store this uh, min terms in a tabular form where two adjacent position is differed by a single bit okay. and then uh, uh, once we what we can do is we can combine two adjacent pro, uh, product term to form a cube. If we can combine two adjacent one then I will create a cube of size 2. If we can combine four adjacent one then I can create a cube of size 4 and so on right I can create a uh, cube of size 8 and so on. Uh, so, this way uh, what Carnot map is does effectively is that our objective is to cover all this one that are present in a function. Okay. So, I want to cover all the cells with minimum number of cubes because each cube result in, in a minimum term and my objective is to create a as large cube as possible. Okay. It means that if there is a 1 which can be covered by a cube size of 2 and there is same 1 can be covered by a cube size of 4, I will choose the bigger one. right? So, that means if a cube already contain a larger cube that will be removed. Okay? And if there is more than one way of covering the map that means the all the 1 cells uh, with minimum number of cubes, I will select uh, the covering that consists of the larger cubes because the larger cubes means smaller number of literals. Okay. So, this way this Carnot map can help us to identifying the minimum expression corresponding to a switching function. As I mentioned in the previous class that although I can start in different way of combining and finding the cubes the efficient way is that you try to identify is there any once uh, there is a cell which cannot be combined at all. So, that will be remain there then you try to identify the ones that can be only combined with another one right you can create a cell of two you identify all those things because that cannot be those ones cannot be merged in a bigger cubes so those uh, main term will be there okay then you identify the size of q4 uh, which will not be a part uh, subset of another size 8 and then you identify is there any size 8 cubes or not right so this way you will identify all the main terms and those main terms will uh, form the minimum expression. Okay. Just to recap the expression, so if I have uh, the function is this where this 0, 4, 5, 7 is corresponding to the values of w, x, y, z. Uh, for example, if you take 9 which is 1, 0, 0, 1, it means w, x bar, y bar and z bar which maps to the value of 1, 0, 0, 1 this one it is 9 this way I will map all these values to the Carnot map okay, in this tabular form. Then I uh, will start by combining uh, this uh, product terms. So, I found out this and this can be combined and this will result in this one. I can combine these two, uh, this will result in this. I can combine these two product term or main terms, I will get this. And this uh, 3, uh, why I have done this? Because these are the ones that cannot be part of a size 4 cube. But this I do not combine these two because they can be part of a size 4 cube and that will result in this print. So, this is one of the irredundant expression. I can uh, go for this way, I can combine these two product term, this product term and this will result me into these two uh, main terms and then I combine this 4 and that will give me this. So, this is the minimal expression, this is irredundant expression. Okay. This is also irredundant expression, but this is the minimum one. Okay. So, why I choose the smaller one that will be clear in the next uh, example. Say in this example, suppose I have the mean terms are this in this function f, which are already put as 1 in this table. So, I my objective is to cover all this one with minimum number of cubes. Okay. So, I can clearly see that there is a larger cube right of uh, four size which will result in x z right but uh, 
uh, if I choose this first, I will see that this is actually a redundant one. Okay. Why? Because my philosophy is that I try to cover such one which is not covered by any uh, size 4 cubes and those ones are this. Right? These ones are cannot be covered by a size 4 cube. Okay? So, they can only be covered by a size of 2 cubes and which are this, right? this, this, this and this. So, they are these product terms. Okay? Now, you see here the, the bigger larger cube is not needed because these ones, one, these ones are already covered by other product term. So, that x z is a redundant one. So, if you uh, first find the bigger one then you find the smaller one then you may end up having you are adding x z here as well because you anyway need this 4 cubes because these cubes are essential because they are covering someone which is not covered by anybody else. Okay. So, so that is why we should start with a smaller cube and uh, goes to the bigger cubes. Okay. Now, I will discuss how we can identify the minimal product of sum using Carnot map. So, you are given again the function in sum of product form in terms of mean terms. Right. So, for example, I have given a function f which is 5, 9, 5, 6, 9, 10. So, that means these are the mean terms present in this function okay. and this 5 means w bar x y bar z, 6 means w x bar y bar z, 9 means w bar x y z bar and 10 means w x bar uh, y z bar. And I want to again create a minimal expression but in product of some format. Okay. So, I know that if I do a double complement of a function which is uh, if I do a complement of f, f bar and again I complement it will be f. Okay. So, what does this f bar means? It means is the complement of f and what does this mean? So, that will uh, in this case wherever uh, this value is 1, the mean terms are there, they are not present, but whatever the mean terms are not present in F, they are there. Right? So, that means those blank position which is basically 0, that means those mean terms are not present in F, those are present here. Okay? So, I can do a uh, Carnot map minimization of F bar. What does this mean? I can take those zeros, the mean terms zeros and I can do the Carnot map minimization. Okay. So, not the 1 cell, but the 0 cell. Okay. So, then what I will get? Uh, if I take this one, so I can combine these 4 cells together. This will result me in y bar z bar because uh, this is there. So, then I can combine this 2, it will be y z. I can combine this 2, this all 4. This will result me in w bar x bar and this is w x. So, I combine all 0 cells w x. So, this is my f bar. Right? This is the minimal expression corresponding to f bar not f. This is uh, you remember this is the minimal expression corresponding to the complement of function f that means f bar. And then I say I will make a complement of this. Right? So, what I will do is I will now make a complement of this. So, I can just do a complement here, I can com make a complement this side as well. So, then I can use that uh, De Morgan's rule. So, what will be result in? So, this will be y plus z, then this will become y bar plus z bar dot, this will become w plus x dot, this will become w bar plus x bar. I hope you remember this. So, this is the product of some expression. of what? f of f bar which is f. right? So, that means, uh, this is the minimal sum of pro uh, product of some expression corresponding to the actual function f. So, what is the process here? We will basically we will form the cubes with 0 cells. That will basically we will find the first minimal sum of product expression corresponding to the f bar. Then I will do a complement, then I will get a product of some expression corresponding to, I hope this is clear. 
there is one more important concept is called don't care in a function. So, if for example, if your function has f, w, x, y and z, there are possible values of w, x, y, z is 2 to the power 4, 16, right. There may be a scenario that not all 16 are a valid combinations, okay. So, this combination may not ever arise in practice, okay. So, that means this combination may be invalid or some combinations may be not has in no importance because we do not care about those combinations. So, those values combinations are called do not care. Okay. You take an example of this uh, the BCD code uh, which is binary coded decimal code where I represent this number decimal number 0 to 9 using binary way. Right. So, that means I need 10 possible values, but w, x, y, z has possible 16 values. So, that means all these values that represent from 10 to 15 are redundant or do not care. Because if you try to represent this BCD, uh, this decimal number in BCD, the value 10 to 15 will never occur. That means 1, 0, 1, 0, then 1, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1 and so on those value will never occur. So, those are do not care. Okay. So, now if you think about a function minimization with some do not care. Okay. So, I want to minimize function where I know that certain value combinations are do not care. What does this mean? It means uh, do not care means what? That particular value may or may not uh, should not occur. right? But I can, so I have a given a function f which has uh, only part of this, right. So, that means, if there are n variables 2 to the power n minus k possible values are there and k is the number of do not care scenarios. Scenarios, okay. In my example of uh, this BCD, uh, my uh, k equal to 6. Right, because there are 6 cases where there is no uh, 10 to 15 those cases I do not have uh, those values will never occur. Right. So, that means, uh, my have 2 to the power 4 minus 6. Okay. So, those are the 10 values. So, now you think about that uh, this uh, the function is defined for 2 to the power n minus k values, okay. but the other values uh, will not occur in practice. Right. So, what during minimization I can take advantage of that scenario. Okay. So, what is um, the fact? So, I can consider that this value may or may not occur. Right. So, what is the possible values um, of that scenario is 2 to the power k. Right. So, you can think about that I can take any subset of this do not care scenarios okay, in my circuit minimization okay. and I will choose that function that will be the minimal expression corresponding to the combination that will give me the minimal expression. Okay. So, uh, just to summarize what I told you that since the do not care can be specified either by 0 or 1, a function with k do not care corresponding to a class of 2 to the power k distinct function. Okay. So, I can from f I can create a function f 1, f 2, f 3 and so on 2 to the power f 2 to the power 2 to the power k where I will say ki all the do not care is 0 here. Here I will say only one of the do not care is 1, right. Here two of the do not care is 1 and so on. So, this way to the k possible different function can be constructed and I will choose one of them, right. I will choose the minimum expression corresponding to them, right. So, there are two to the k possible function can be considered where I can take the do not care value 0 or 1 out of them I will aim to choose the function with minimal expression. I am going to take the one which has minimum number of product term and literals. Okay. So, what the moral of the story here that whenever something is do not care you can consider those do not care or may not consider, but if it helps you take them and whatever do not care is not considered you discard them. Okay. So, I will explain with that with uh, uh, the BCD example. Suppose I want to convert this BCD number into XS3 output. In XS3, I, I explained in previous classes that 
it is basically whatever the BCD number plus 3, right. So, this is BCD plus 3. So, if this is my BCD numbers corresponding to the digital, this is my corresponding value in XS3, you can cross check. So, how can I write a function which will take this as input and it will give me this as output. So, in that particular function what will happen in that converter, in that converter you have W x, y and z input, this is my converter and, uh, uh, and it will output this 4 bits, right. The 4 bits I have written as f1, f2, f3 and f4. So, I will have a circuit that will take this input and this will give me the output. So, what I can think of, I have one circuit that will take w, x, y and z and it will produce f1. I will have one more circuit that will take w, x, y, z and produce f2 and there will be circuit for f3 and there will be circuit for f4. I can consider them as individual, ok. So, now if you think about uh, the circuit of uh, function f1. So, I can uh, consider these as the mean terms, right. So, these are the mean terms and these are the mean term will be 1, right, in my function. So, that means it is uh, 0, 2, 4, 6, 8. So, 0, 2, 6, 4, 8, ok. And since the 10 to 15 does not occur, I can consider them as a do not care and do not care given by this phi segment. Similarly, for f2, is this is a 0, then it is 3, 4, 7, and 8 occurs here. So, 0, 3, 4, 7, 8, and the do not care also I can add, right. Similarly, for f3, it is 1, 2, 3, 4, and 9, and do not cares, right. And for f4, it is uh, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 plus the do not care. So, I can identify the minimal expression. So, this is my expressions, right. I can always construct a circuit that will, if I just add this thing, I uh, will get the f1 correctly. But uh, now I will try to using Carnot map to minimize each of them, ok. Let me show you. So, now uh, as I explained, this is my f1. So, I put those uh, 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, 1 here for corresponding to my f1. So, this is 0, this is uh, 4, this is 0, 4, this is 2 and so on and the do not care I put as has, right. So, during circuit minimization, if I do not do the consider the do not cares, then I will having, uh, I can map this and this, right, this way. So, if I do not consider the do not cares, ok. So, then this one will end up having I uh, will have z bar and in this case it is w bar, right. So, w bar z bar and this one is uh, y bar z bar and uh, this is uh, x bar, right. So, I will end up having an expression, minimal expression having w bar z bar x bar y bar z bar, right. Combining these two this 4 uh, 1 will result me in this one and then combining this and this will result me in this 3. So, I will have 2 product term and 5 literals. Whereas, if I now uh, consider I can take a subset of this do not care that will help me, ok. So, what then I can combine this 4 product terms and these 4 product terms and I will end up having the value of z bar. So, we can understand that I have only have uh, a function which is basically your f1 is nothing but z, you just put a not get, you will get the output. So, that means f1 is z bar. Similarly, for f2, I put the 1 corresponding to this, uh, this ones and the do not cares. If you do not have the do not care, then you will end up having this is 1 cube, this is 1 more cube and this is 1 more cube. So, this 2 cubes, uh, si cube of size 2 means 3 literal. So, you will end up having 3 product terms and each of them has 3 terms, uh, 3 literal. So, there will be 9 literal total. Whereas, if I take this uh, do not cares and I can combine this to do not care with this, I can take this do not care and combine with this, I will end up having uh, 2 product term, each of them has 2, pro uh, two literal. So, it is 2 product term, 2 literals each, which is only 4 literals, 
and that is nothing but y bar z bar y z. Similar way I can combine uh, this two, uh, this two, uh, this, this is a four size, this is again a four size and I will end up having this expression. Okay? So, corresponding to this and this here I will get because x is uh, constant here. So, x bar and here it is z bar z. Right? So, I will end up getting this one and if I combine this with this I will end up getting this and this will result in x y bar z bar. Similarly, for f 4 also I take the all basically all do not care get used and I end up getting a 2 liter size of 4 cube size of 4 and 1 is cube size of 8 and I will end up getting w which is this then this one is uh, this one is z and x x z this is the x z and this one is x y right. So, this is how I will get the minimal expression. So, you can see here that here all the do not care get used here only 1 2 3 get used here 1 2 3 get used here I have used 1 2 3. So, others are not getting used. So, it as per my requirement I am going to use the do not care to minimize my function okay. and you end up having this circuit. Okay. So, this is my f 1, this is my f 2, this is my f 3 and this is my f 4 which is just representing my this functions. Okay. So, we can think about this is my actual uh, this B C D 2 xs 3 code converter. Okay. So, far we have already talked about a Carnot map of size 3 variables or 4 variables. You can also think about a Carnot map of 5 variables. So, where you can just take this is a Carnot map of 4 variable say w x y z and you can add v is uh, what is the msb. So, the v you can keep 0 here right 0 0 0 0 and this is again the Carnot map of w x y z you can put v equal to 1 here right. So, you will end up getting a Carnot map which is of size of 5 variables 32 cells and again here it is very important that you can actually fold the Carnot map here. Okay. So, if you fold the Carnot map in the middle that means, this uh, 1 is adjacent to 17, 21 is adjacent to 5, 29 is adjacent to 13, 25 is adjacent to 9. So, this is true for each row. right? Even if you have a 1 in 13 and 21, you can club them. Okay? So, that is the uh, philosophy the, the behind this. Similarly, you can club anything here 22 with 14 right? or you can have a q 1 here and there is a q 1 uh, of 1 here. So, this is a cube size 4, this is 4, this can be combined into a cube size of 8 because they are also adjacent. Okay? So, this adjacency you have to keep it in mind. So, if I take this uh, function f which has 5 variables and these are the uh, mean terms present here that I have already put it into 1 here, you can combine as I mentioned this 4 with this 4. Okay? you can combine these two with these two. Okay? So, if you for, uh, put this uh, 8 uh, sides, so there are 5 variables and 2 to the power 3. Uh, so, that means, we will end up having a mean terms of 2. right? So, it is basically this one. So, if I combine this and this, you will end up having x y. Okay? You can combine these two, you will get a, a product term of size 4. You can combine this, uh, this uh, and this and then this and this this 4 and you will end up having this size. Okay? So, you can cross check, uh, but this how you can actually combine for a bigger uh, map. Okay? This way you can also think about you can copy uh, this and you can ex uh, fold it, you can actually have 6 variable map where uh, here you put 0 and then you put 1 1 1 and then you will end up having another map. So, this is 5 variable map, you can actually put another copy here. Right? So, where there will be 3 variable corresponding to rows, 3 variable corresponding to columns. Again you can do this way, but whenever the map size grows, it is very difficult to uh, do this optimization just looking into visually. Okay? So, that is why uh, this Carnot map method is not something very suitable for large number of variables. Even if you want to think about a, a Carnot map beyond size 6, it will be very difficult to identify which are the cells that are adjacent to each other. Okay? So, uh, we usually uh, go for uh, other method like Qu coin McCloskey method. So, those we are going to discuss in uh, subsequent classes. Thank you. Mm -hmm.